one. Hand painted enamel, acid edge, $28 and 20% off. Somebody pinched me. <laughs> Well, today we are at Antiques Marketplace of Le Moine. Uh, I had to bail out a little bit prematurely the other day because I had Laurel with me and she had just had enough. Um, so I figured I'd swing back through today. I was in the area and uh, we'd do a little bit more of a thorough shopping trip and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He has the sweetest face I have ever seen. And he's like Laurel size. It's $20. <gasps> what if I brought this home and I set it down next to Laurel? What do you think she would do? Would she be confused? Would she be scared? It's made of chalkware. So I bet you it weighs 7 million pounds. I probably couldn't ship it. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not that bad. I probably could ship it. It's so sweet. What is this? I thought at first it was a lollipop, but I don't think so. I just love it. So sweet. Twenty bucks. Hmm. Okay. We have not been downstairs in a while, so how about we venture down the stairs? Ooh. Let's have nice glass here on this shelf. So I figured we'd start here. That's pretty. Fifteen dollars. Hmm. And that's interesting. What is going on here? Little mini dice on that one. Fifty-nine. Not sure that leaves much room for me. And this guy. Has 35 on it. It's interesting to me that that has a cloudy bottom. It's pretty though. All right, and then this guy's been here a while, I think. He's at 60. That's pretty. I think that's old Paris porcelain. I think is what it's called. All right, let's keep going. I think this one might be Fifth Avenue crystal. 1525. I have bought and sold that one before. Ooh, that's pretty. 1999. Lemon and basil. These salt pepper shakers are adorable. $18 on me. I thought they were the $10. Oh my gosh, they make me nervous. <laughs> Stay. I don't know if I can do 18 on those. If they were 10, I'd probably do it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Luster, luster owl. They're shakers, right? Oh, I see what's happening here. The lids are shakers. 20 bucks. I'll take that, that's so cute. Let's stick it in there. Percent off. Oh, lordy, lordy. How much? $28. I'm pretty sure that's acid edged. What? Hand painted enamel, acid edged, $28. And 20% off? Somebody pinched me. <laughs> Okay, I figured we'd go around the corner this direction. I'm going the reverse direction because Kate put this idea in my head that I needed to just shake things up and start <laughs> exploring these antique malls in the opposite direction. Who knows, maybe I'll see things that I don't normally see, like the basement. <laughs> I haven't been down here in a while. On vintage clocks. <laughs> Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I sometimes
They must have some really nice glass in this booth. So I figured it was worth a peek. And this booth is kind of hidden in the corner. So you have to seek it out. I don't see much glass today though. Sweet little donkey. Lots of art pottery. Really pretty art pottery too. Some fiesta. Finally moved all the fiesta out of my uh, my booth. There's some Polish pottery. What's the price on that? Twenty bucks. Two piece Polish pottery trinket box. All right, Powerpuff Girls. over there. That one has edging. 36 on that. Those are fancy. Party light. Hmm. Not the first time I've been attracted to party light. This felt scrub. All right, into the Shamrock ashtray. Huh? It looks like recycled glass. Twenty-two fifty. Let's bring it out here, shall we? Hmm. Interesting. Twenty-two fifty. Seeing discounts, but even at twenty-two fifty, that's a pretty good price. I think I'll take it. I'm not gonna put it in there though; it's too clunky. <laughs> the other one I really like is this dish over here. Forty-two fifty on that one. That's a good quality. Bird glass, polished base. Forty-two fifty. I don't know if it's Murano or Czech. Like it, I just don't know if I could pay forty two fifty for it. One glass whale in there. There's a Mary Gates cat. I think that's the second one I've ever seen. The first one was at Mad Hatter Antiques in Adamstown. It was taller than that one. Alright. I think that's it for me for this booth. Maybe we'll venture back upstairs. All right, well here we are back at Tiffany's booth. Let's see if there's anything fresh in here, even though it's only been a few days. Hmm, Costa Coda. 45. That's massive. I don't think I've seen it that size before. Usually I see the little tea light holders. Hmm. This one, what is this? Thin glass Costa Boda as well. Hmm. Interesting. This is neat, that's Art Nouveau, isn't it? 25. 95 percent. 95% what? I don't think it's silver. It's more like a pewter. Yeah, pewter serving bowl as is. What am I missing? I guess maybe the boo boo in the center. 95% pewter, perhaps. Let's check out Becky's booth and see what she has added. Do a little peek in here. Very springtimey. Fused glass. are kind of adorable. $15. Japan. And Becky does have 20% off, so you can hear the, the cork in there. <laughs> this 
case you forgot to take out the $3 sticker, but that's Pinocchio. $15, 20% off. I'll take him. I'm going to wander down this way to JT's mostly 10 and mostly $5 booths. I'm not seeing very many new treasures in the mostly $5 booth. Looks to be about the same as the other day, so I'm going to venture over here to the mostly $10 booth. Like I said, JT was in here earlier. This is nice. That's opaline glass, hand blown. $10. Remember me. I'll stick that in my basket very carefully. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to set down the basket while I explore the booth. $10 in a pawn jug. I think it's been repaired. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Probably. Hair receivers are still here. Some pyrography. This shrunken head thing. Let's see what we can find in here, shall we? Jadeite glass ashtray. <laughs> the squirrel is cute. These over here. Not these, but these. I believe are who's your... Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. Um, these are who's your shakers, I think. That green ribbed look. $16.99 for the pair. Those might be worth picking up. I think. <laughs> oh God, I wish I was more up on the prices. They're missing their labels here, but I feel like those would be pretty easy to reproduce. They have the lids, even. Oh, and there's a discount, 20% off. All right, I'll grab those. An interesting piece of art pottery. Turtle pottery bowl. Hmm, I like it. I don't feel like it should be on the floor, though. Somebody's gonna kick it. Stick it over here. That's pretty. $15.99. I just like the colors. It has a little bit of obsolescence to it. And then we've got this. Let's check that out. $24.99. The looks of this kitty up here as well. $22.99 on the cat. 20% off. That would bring it under $20, right? I mean, I know my math is not the best. But I feel like I did that math right. <laughs> I don't see any damage on it. It's a planner. I'll grab that guy. I'll just cradle him. Thank you for shopping oh. For our vendors only. Loading dock is closed. All right, so here we are in the vintage booth. And it looks like it has been restocked since our last visit. Mars Pottery Horse Mug. This is a nice mug, $25. Uh, they usually have a sale, 20% off. I think occasionally it's 30, but 20% right now. Hmm, you know what? I'll grab that mug. Occasionally I will list coffee mugs, buy it now and whatnot alongside my coffee. And I think that could do pretty well. This is neat. I love that they've expanded over here. It looks really nice. Tons of glass. <laughs> Lava lamps. Check this out. How amazing is that? It's a leather dragon. So cool. Is it a dragon or a dino? There's a discrepancy here. <laughs> I think it's probably a dragon though. It has Definitely has wings. We'll call it a dragon. Japan. An angel looks kind of interesting. <laughs> Where are now? Made in Italy, $25. I don't know though, the detail's a little bit off. I don't know. 
It's definitely pretty. I'm just not sure. 25 is a good price either way. Especially if it is Murano. That's pretty. $40. I just like the form of it. Hmm, that's fancy. I'm not sure at that price though. I just saw one of those over at, uh, at Goodwill. It was in pretty rough shape. Claris Art Pottery. Right. Well, I'm not seeing much more than what I saw the other day. This puppy is adorable. $12. 20% off. On top of that, I guess I'm just being a little picky. But I have a lot at my shop right now. Goodness. That's so pretty. These are almost always damaged. Where's the damage? Where is it? How much on that? 38. I guess I don't feel any damage. A little rough spot there, but that might just be from manufacturing. I bet you the green of that glows. And then I'll grab that and stick it in my whatnot so by the time you're seeing this it will have passed. Unfortunately. <laughs> Teasing all of you. This is adorable. Hand painted vintage cat Italy. It's Italian. It's a bank. I love these banks. 28. I don't know if I can do 28. It's like right at that point where I'm like, mm, I can maybe get away with it, but I don't know. That's crazy. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to Antiques Marketplace of Le Moines. I'm so glad that I got to the car and I just looked at my battery and I'm at 4%. So we made it just in time. But I don't recall my total spend, so I'll put it up here in the corner for you guys. Um, I think we got some great stuff today. That vase was amazing. That little baby was so adorable, and I can't wait to get it home. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm gonna put it on my shelf for a little while. Weird out my kids with this lifelike baby. Um, anyway, I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. What do you think? <laughs> do you like it? Is he your new best friend? I'm going to put him in your nursery. Huh? Why? They're best friends. That's creepy. It's not creepy. <laughs> what are you doing? Why isn't he moving? Buddies, yeah. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.